Hey guys, it's Jay. I hope everybody's having a great day and staying safe. In today's video, I've got a couple who came out and trained with me at the beginning of September. Guys, if you don't see from the video today that it's easy to develop these type of skills on your motorcycle with total clutch control without wearing and tearing your bike, I don't know what else will. Also, I hope you'll make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out in putting these videos out for you guys. If there's something you want to see in a future video, write that in the comments section below. We also have a discount code in today's video, so make sure you look for that. Hope you'll watch the video all the way through and just pay attention to how quickly these two develop their skills. It's just an easy thing to be able to do if you can remove the fear of dropping and damaging your bike. You get a good instructor, you can develop these skills quickly and easily. So until next time, uh, you guys train hard, ride safe, be good to one another, and God bless America. Take care. Hey, I'm here with Renee who has come out to do some training. We didn't do a, an intro interview, we're doing a post interview. Uh, she came out and she was on an Indian... 23 Indian Chief. A 23 Indian Chief. And so how much have you ridden? What's uh, your experience? My experience is I just got this Indian in mid-June and I put 2,700 miles on it. So okay. that's pretty much the just, long short. Just riding out on the street yes. straight away. Okay, all right. We got out here and I decided, you know what, why don't you just ride an electric glide? Her husband, John, is on a 24 uh, street glide. And so I said, you know, I, I really think you've got what it takes to learn how to ride an electric glide. So we put her on the electric glide and we started her off with just, you know, making sure she knew how to stop the bike, get going on the bike and all that. She was able to make some tight circles in 18 feet. You also did some 18 foot U-turns. What else did you get through today? I got through the motor officer training the, obstacle course. That's right, the 12 foot cone weave and the motor officer offset cone weave. So what'd you think about the training? What do you think you learned? I learned so much. I learned so much about throttle control. I mean, that sweet spot that's in there, never lose that. Always find it. Clutch and control. Clutch control, yeah. not throttle control. Clutch control, that's what you're going for. But yes, that. Yeah. Finding that spot and never losing it and always using that. Right. Always have control over it. And we didn't use any throttle for the slow speed We stuff. did not. We used None. all clutch control. Right, right. So, uh, you feel like you learned a lot? I learned a great deal and I'm very grateful. Thank you. Oh, well, I appreciate you coming out. We're going to get with John, see what he thinks about the training. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Thank I look you. forward to working with you guys again. And uh, we'll show you John's interview here shortly, and then we'll show you the training. So we're here with John. This is Renee's husband. Uh, John, tell us a little bit about your history as far as riding. We started riding back in 07, gave it up uh, a few years later to build a house. We really got the itch again after about eight or nine years off and ended up with a couple of bikes and ended up here a couple of months later. So have you had training prior to this? Nothing but the MSL. Okay. So you came out today, uh, you were able to knock out the 18 foot uh, tight circles, the U-turns, 12 foot motor officer cone weave, the offset right. cone weave, this braking as we talked about with Renee. How do you feel about the training? You feel, I, where, where do you feel like you are at this point now? I, feel a lot more consistent in as far as making tighter turns and stuff. Uh, leaving here with a lot of tools that uh, we can go home and practice with. How do you feel about the total clutch control method? Oh, it, it makes more sense than anything else. And you dropped your bike a few times today, but there's yep. no damage, nope. luckily. MotorcycleDropGuard.com. <laughs> awesome. Once again, thanks for coming out and trust me with your, uh, enjoyed it. your skills. This is John, he's on a 24 street glide. He hasn't been riding very long. This is Renee. She just started riding this electric glide this morning. She's a brand new rider. We worked with her on her toe clutch control this morning. And now she's almost right at 18 feet on an electric glide with her clutch only. That's a 2024 street glide. He's got the motorcycle drive guards on there. He's actually got the polished stainless steel. Went down, nothing's touching the ground. No damage to the bike. OK? 
okay? Yep. You okay? Yeah. I'll lift it for you, no worries. I got it. You sure? Yeah. I can help you. I can help you. You ready? He's dropped it probably seven or eight times, he said, uh, but there's no damage. It's got the motorcycle drive guards on there. Neither one of these guys were making 18 foot turns this morning.